Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It is your boy Captain Cowboy Humor Swag. And we just finished up content domination, so well, I was not in town to go ahead and stream any of this. However, I want to go ahead and show you what one of my battles look like. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, play this short little clip for you. And this is the city battle. So this is, you know, a pretty bad example. This was actually my first battle in content domination. But I want to go ahead and show you what I like to do. So go in. First thing right off the bat is go get some hits on the strongest player on the enemy team. Now, in later battles, all I would do was speed march. Because the if you're hitting people, you're getting points. So if you're going for that, you know, rank, you want to go and kill as many people as possible because you're going to be getting a ton of points for that. The stronger the enemy, the more points you get. If you get that first kill when they have the most troops, then you're going to be getting more points. However, if you're looking to win, what you need to do is you need to coordinate someone to hold the sanctuaries. Holding the sanctuaries is going to give you a thousand percent buff each. So you can see there we just obtained one sanctuary, so we got a one thousand uh, percent troop attack buff. And we also have our empire buff that can help us up to a hundred percent of, I believe, troop attack, troop defense, and troop health that you can pay gold for an R4. Now, once that um, bubble drops on their enemy castle, you can go ahead and attack it, try to lower that down to 0%, and you will win the battle. Now, something to keep in mind, if you want to go ahead and speed that up and speed up the killing of them and their castle, go ahead and utilize Siege. So it's important to utilize Siege in your battles in order to go ahead and tear down their alliance fortress. So we'll see once that bubble comes down, I'll be going for that pretty hard trying to win. But in the meantime, we're just going to go ahead and speed up a march and kill Demon Star right off the bat. We've got some eh, mediocre points at best right now. This is a pretty weak alliance um, in terms of power. Um, but yeah, five seconds until that shield drops. So once that shield drops, we're just going to go ahead and focus on killing their fortress. Now I have members who are going to be staying at home, staying by our fortress to kill anyone who tries to hit it. So, and just, you know, trying to mitigate and trying to manage, micromanage everything that's going on. You know, that 9%, uh, I believe that was just from regular troops, but we could go ahead and try and attack now with our siege. I have pretty low numbers of siege. Uh, the number of troops that you can send into battle is very um, dependent on how many people your battle can hold. So if it's 10v10, you're going to be looking at about 500k. If it's a 20 versus 20, it's a million. If it's a 100 versus 100, well then it's going to be 5 million troops, which is the most you can have in domination. So now, I'm calling out that they're attacking our castle. We need someone to go ahead and defend it. But they're really not doing much damage to it. We have four people here who are just going to absolute town on them. Now we're making that five. So I'm not too worried about our chances here at all. But I just figured, hey, this is our first battle as an alliance. We want to do this right. So we want to go ahead and make sure that we're covering all of our fronts. And as you can see, the alliance fortress does drop down pretty quickly. So I'm just going to go ahead and speed up um, through here. As you can see, you know, we're just slowly tearing them down. And then we get into the victory. Now, for the team reward, depending on which tile it is, I'm going to actually bring it back. Or I don't know how to actually do this stuff. So I'm one first place. We have our team reward. Um, so we get the rune enhanced stone chest based on this tile. Some different tiles have, like, the city tax, some tiles have unity chests, it just all depends. And also war coins and then in ranking rewards we get war coins as well as some other good jazz. Or you could be like me and just do that. So this is just, you know, what the map will look like as we're going along. So, there's an armistice status after you win, so your tile cannot be attacked for five minutes. There's also a little time down 
timer between uh, how often you can set new attacks going and some other good jazz in there as well but we'll have more information on the next content domination that comes our way thank you all for watching this is cam cowboy and your boy swag who is not talking very much today but, it's all right i'm here yeah he's gonna give us some elevator music hopefully one day but go ahead and check out our website at www.captain-cowboy.com pick up some merchandise and go ahead and hit that subscribe button also we do have a forum on the website so link it with friends ask some questions and get some help all at the website it's a one-stop shop thank you all for watching